Hey, how's it going guys? And today we're going to be reviewing and testing true wireless earbuds with charging case. Nice. It boasts waterproof IPX4. I don't know what that means, but I guess that's pretty good. See, 10 hour battery time plus 60 hour charging case equals 70 hours of music or call. Whoa. Let's check the back of the box now. See, we got compatible with most smartphones, managed stereo, activate your Siri and voice assistant, IPX4, oh, okay, same as the front, adjustable secure ear hooks, a full charge can be going for 10 hours plus charge case for an additional 60 hours, and oh, you get a volume control, nice, how cool is that? Well, now let's see what's actually in the box here. We got earbuds and charging case, we get one of those, gel cushion tips, three pairs, okay, USB charging cable, one of those, and one manual, alright. Now let's see if we can open this, see if I can do it one handed, ah, okay, let's try, it. there we go, alright, alright, ah, uh, let's see, okay, uh, same as the back it looks like, and there is the actual device itself. Now, if you guys actually want to pick these up, I got these at Walmart, and if you find yourself not finding it by the electronics, you might want to try the front where the cashiers are. You know, where like the lint rollers and the decks of cards and all the other random stuff to get on the way out. I found these on display for I believe $19, and I thought to myself, can $19 earbuds even sound great? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be finding out today. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this thing open, and I am doing this one-handed. I got my camera in the other hand, and to be honest, I should have invested in a tripod instead of buying earbuds, but oh well. Let's get the box out of here and get out of here. Okay, so we got the manual here, and they are just earbuds, so I think I can figure it out, so I don't really need to read this thing. And now we got the gel tips, and you get three different pairs here, and I usually find the ones that come on the earbuds already are pretty good, so I don't think I'm going to really need these. Okay, now the actual thing, just take off this little bit of plastic here. Alright, now on the back of the device you'll see the charging port, it is a micro USB charging port. I mean, if only it was type C, I mean that's what a lot of things use now, but oh well. And on the front you'll see LED indicator lights. Ah, let's go ahead and open this up, see how much charge we have, and I almost have a full charge. I got three little lights there. And there are the headphones, ooh, nice. And they are the sporty kind, they got the little ear hooks on them, and my ears are actually smaller than most people, I've been told. And when I wear these type of headphones or earbuds, they kind of make my ears hurt. But, I mean, for $19, let's see if these are actually worth the money. Oh, by the way, shout out to Phil DeFranco, always coming out with the awesome merch. Okay, now on to the earbuds. Now let's go ahead and put these in, give them a little feel, how they fit. And I got my right one in just fine. I kind of had trouble getting the left one in. Like I said, my ears are small, so they actually weren't hooking on properly. I assume that's why. Like I said, I don't usually get the sporty ones, but oh well. And uh, right now, they're actually fitting in pretty good. Oh, by the way, check out my awesome pop socket. Well, today's your lucky day. I have opened, in this very office building, Dwight Schrute's Gym for Muscles. Okay, now that I got it connected to Bluetooth, let's test it on on a few songs. Okay, one of the first things I noticed right off the bat is that it has a very muffled sound. It's kind of hard to explain without you actually hearing it yourself, so uh, let's try it on a different song. It's like I can hear all the instruments, I can hear the music just fine, it just has this very muffled sound it's kind of hard to explain and while i'm here let me just go ahead and give this things a shake test and i know you're not going to be shaking your head like me but you know why not oh, oh and one of them just fell out so not so secure as they may seem let's go ahead and put these back in place and uh yeah why not let's go ahead and try it on one more song and you know while we're at it let's just go ahead and turn it up all the way why not Okay, now from the music, let's go ahead and see how well these earbuds do listening to a podcast. It's, she likes to it's say, Sonia. I'm gonna it's get Sonia. Conan. <laughs> you know, I think it's all Conan's fault. Now, I will say for listening to a podcast, these earbuds actually did really well. Everyone's voice came out loud and clear, even with its muffled sound. 
All right, now let's go ahead and get a closer look at these earbuds here. You do have the controls on the back. You have a play, pause, forward, back button. And the cool thing is you actually get these on both of the earbuds. So you can kind of choose which side you want to control or control both at the same time if you'd like. All right, now let's put these back in the case. Let's keep them charged. Why not? All right, so the big question, are these worth the money? And no. <laughs> No, they are pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you and I am out 20 bucks <laughs> I mean if you don't really care about sound quality You just kind of want a cheap pair of headphones to just take with you on a road trip because you're probably gonna end up losing them on the road trip I'd say go ahead and buy these give them a try But I would highly highly recommend you save your money for just a few more weeks and buy yourself a better pair of earbuds <laughs> Please don't make the same mistake. I just made well, that's going to do it for the review, guys. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.